In the last 18 months, the Alpine Shire region has experienced many highs and lows, and while Bright and Surrounds, as a tourist destination, has seen incredible continued growth, our communities and businesses have had to deal with the devastating bushfires of last year and the ongoing impacts of the COVID pandemic that quickly followed. A high number of short-term holiday rentals across the Alpine Shire, coupled with increased demand to live in our region, is causing a critical shortage in housing availability in local communities. This isn't an isolated issue. It's impacting many regional towns across the country. It's an issue that needs a whole of community approach. This has been an increasing trend since 2011 as the population in the Alpine Shire has steadily increased and the situation has been further exacerbated during the COVID-19 pandemic as people move from cities to regional areas. With limited long-term rental availability across the Alpine Shire, a deterioration of rental housing affordability and an increase in house prices for those who wish to purchase, there is simply not enough accommodation here for key workers. There's so many um, great business opportunities out there at the moment that we could be maximising on. Unfortunately, we can't because we're lacking the staff resources. The main problem um, is accommodation. We're getting great applicants wanting to come on board, but nowhere to house or relocate them to. Brightbury is a key destination in Bright, and you know we're one of the largest employers in town, uh, with about 75 people working for us through summer. Uh, and you know we often find we can. We can actually find people, but it uh, can be a challenge to actually get them to move here if they're coming from out of town, if they don't already have a place to stay. And um, you know, just getting somewhere for them to live is a big challenge for us. To avoid housing stress, the Australian Treasury and welfare groups have indicated that housing costs should not exceed a threshold of 30% of household income. When comparing the average wages of key workers with the current average costs of renting in the Alpine Shire, it becomes clear that key workers cannot afford the average rental without entering housing stress. A key worker is defined as an employee who provides a vital service, especially in the essential services, health or education sectors. Here in the Alpine Shire, this includes those that provide services to residents such as healthcare workers, teachers, doctors and nurses. Friendly ambassadors providing services to visitors and residents in our hospitality, tourism and retail sectors. Workers in key local industries such as agriculture, renewable energy, forestry and construction. 65% of the working population of the Alpine Shire are considered key workers. I've been here for three and a half years. Uh, when I initially came it was uh, quite easy to find accommodation but in recent times we have uh, just been evicted from our uh, rental property and it has taken us uh, close to 80 days to find a new rental uh, property and in the meantime I've had to move into um, storage and uh, stay with family members. So Alpine Children's Services run services in Myrtleford, Mount Beauty, Bright and Toowonga and we have this problem across all of our services in that we don't have enough staff to, to man our services. We've got waiting lists, families waiting for places, families who can't go back to work because we can't staff the services. I'm a provisional psychologist with Alpine Health at the moment, so working with youth predominantly, and I've found it really impossible to, to find accommodation here. You'd hope with a, a steady income coming in, you would be able to find something um, in town or even outside of town. I was looking pretty much anywhere <laughs> to be able to find accommodation. And I've only just managed to find accommodation through word of mouth. Um, before that, I was put up by the organisation in student accommodation that's meant for international students. Luckily there weren't any there. Though this housing shortage might seem obvious to many, especially the individuals looking for a place to live and the business owners looking for staff, in some spheres there appears to be a lack of community awareness about the issue and in particular its wider impact. It's kind of frustrating when you walk outside of your business and you can hear people walking past saying, you know, I can't believe they're not open or it's such a busy day, they should be trading. Um, and it's, it's purely down to lack of resources. And we, we have an amazing small core team, but we also can't afford to run the risk of burning them out, overworking them, um, work, ruining that work-life balance, so then we end up with no one. The increase in the cost of accommodation places a significant financial burden on key workers who are vulnerable to housing stress. This poses a substantial risk to the local economy that is reliant on those key workers. 
almost 400 residential properties across the Shire are being used as short-term rentals. Short-term rental properties are important to the local economy to support visitors and keep our tourism economy thriving. But we need to strike a balance between the short-term rentals and housing for the key workers that many of our local businesses desperately need. Over the years that I've been managing properties, I have noticed, I guess, some properties not being used as much as you would anticipate, given how busy town is. Um, I think there's a lot of properties sitting out there that would make fantastic homes and rental, permanent rental opportunities for people. Um, and you do notice them sitting there and they may be great investments by people for a long-term retirement option or that they just love the area. Um, and to think that some of these people could be actually helping the area continue to build and grow on a permanent basis. Basis. Affordable housing is our community's number one concern, as evidenced by a recent Shirewide survey where 52% of nearly 500 respondents listed this as their top issue. Alpine Shire Council has developed a pipeline of work to help address this issue in the medium to long term. Our program includes a land use development strategy, an affordable housing action plan and a wider housing strategy. This pipeline draws upon work done in the Key and Essential Worker Housing Plan, released by the Victorian Planning Authority and the Great South Coast Shires last September. If you own a property that could be used as a long-term rental, we urge you to consider placing it on the long-term rental market. You might have a studio or unit on your property, or a vacant house, or you may operate a short-term rental that would make a fantastic family home. The income difference between short and long-term rental might not be as big as you think. In addition, when you convert from a short-term to a long-term rental, your council rates could also reduce, as you would pay a residential instead of a commercial rate. We encourage you to approach council to discuss placing your property on the long-term rental market to create a housing opportunity for someone in the community who can't access housing now. You will not only receive a regular income, but you will help to build a more inclusive community for all of us to live in.